Welcome to another lesson of Kamali Academy's online mental math class. Today we're going to be dealing with subtraction. And my name is Baba Dr. Bella Samori Kamara here with you again. So let's get on into it. Hopefully you've been practicing your skills. Hopefully you got them locked in. Hopefully you're doing better in your in your in your math classes with these skills. So let's get into it, right? So with subtraction, the first thing we want to do is we want to make sure that we actually have to borrow. If we don't have to borrow, we can just go again left to right like we normally do. Left to right. Okay? So if we're going left to right, four minus two is two. Five minus four is is one. How do you make sure that the numbers are um, that, that you have to borrow. You just want to make sure that the top numbers are larger than the bottom numbers. So five is larger than four, so we don't have to borrow. Four is larger than two, so we don't have to borrow. All right. So let's move on to another one. Again, we can just do that left to right. Real simple, left to right. Now we have another one here. We have 97 minus 28. Okay, so in this case, seven is smaller than eight, so we definitely have to borrow. Here's how you do it when you have to borrow. Again, we want to simplify. We want to bring the 28, the number 28 here, up to the nearest multiple of 10, right? So if we bring it up to the nearest multiple of 10, we're going to get to what? 30, right? And how far do we have to go up to get to 30? We have to go up 2. So we put a little plus 2 right there, all right? So now, since we have 30, that makes the subtraction problem a lot easier. We have 97 minus 30. All we're dealing with is 9 minus 3, and that is 6. Bring down our 7 here, and 67 plus 2 is what? 69, right? Really simple. Here is the thing. When we have to borrow, we want to bring this bottom number up to the nearest 10. The nearest 10 in this case is... 30. And we ask ourselves, how far do we have to go up? We had to go up plus 2. So we're going to put that on the side. We're going to mentally add that later. But once we get 30, we have a very easy subtraction problem where we're only dealing with the first two numbers. 9 minus 3 is 6. Bring down our 7. So we have 67 plus 2, which equals 69. Right? Let's keep it moving. Here, here another one. We have another one here. And we have to borrow. So what are we going to bring that 35 up to? 40. You're absolutely right. So we bring that 35 up to 40. And how far do we have to go up? 5. So we put our plus 5 on the side right there. And we subtract. 53 minus 40 is a whopping 13. 13 plus 5 is 18. So that is our answer. Pretty easy. We can keep it moving. Remember, we want to bring this number up to the nearest 10. All right. And then we want to ask ourselves, how far do we have to go up? And we're going to add that number at the end. OK, let's move on. Let's move on. We can also do this with three digit numbers, three uh, digit minus three digit numbers. OK, so in this case, instead of going up to the nearest 10, we want to go up to the nearest hundred. So we're going to bring 598 to the nearest hundred, which is 600. Right. 600. OK. And so we have seven uh 47 minus 600 how far did we go up from from 598 to get 600 we only went up to it's a pretty easy one right we went up to and so we subtract here 7 minus 6 is 1 147 plus 2 is 149 right looks a little bit daunting but it really isn't really isn't right so let's look at this other one 853 minus 690 Two. Again, we want to bring 692 up to the next, to the nearest hundred, which will be, of course, 700. All right. How far do we have to go up? Another easy one. We only went up eight, right? And so we subtract that. So we're going to get 153 plus eight, and we'll get 161. 161 will be the answer there. Now we have 715 minus 476. Now, we know that we have to go up to the nearest 100, which will be 500. But how far do we have to go up from 476 to get to 500? I have a technique for you to make that really, really easy. All right. So this technique is, is really about using the complements. There are sets of number. When you add those two numbers together, they're going to equal 100. And they're really easy to figure out. Let's look at what we have here. 57, right? 
57 plus what will give us 100? Go ahead. Um, go ahead. Go ahead. Figure it out. 57 plus what will give us 100? I know that it is 43. 43 plus 57 will give us 100. 68 plus what number will give us 100? I know that it is 32 will give us 100. 49 plus what number will give us 100? And I know that one is 51, right? Now you ask the question, how do you know that? You know, how do you know it so quickly? If I don't know if you can see the pattern here, but the pattern is very, very simple. The numbers on the left-hand side, 5 plus 4 in this case, they are going to equal, and we add them together, 9. The numbers on the right-hand side, 7 plus 3 in this case, they're going to equal 10, right? And so we see that with this one right here, 6 plus 3 is 9, that's the left-hand side, and 8 plus 2 is 10, that's the right-hand side. 4 plus 5 is 9, and 9 plus 1 is 10. Do we see that? So let's look at the, the other complements. Go ahead on and take a, just take a minute here to try to figure these out. 37 plus what will be 100? 59 plus what will be 100? 93 plus what will be 100? And 44 plus what will be 100? I'll give you a couple seconds. All right, time's up, time's up, time's up, time's up. All right, so we should have for 37, what do we have? What do we have? 63, right? 63. And 59, what do we have? 41, right? 93, that's an easy one, right? Just, just 7, right? And 44, we have 56, okay? And all of those will equal 100. And we must remember that the left numbers, they equal 9, and the right numbers equal what? 10. Exactly right. Exactly right. So now, actually, let me go back. Let's get back to, to this one then. Let's get back right here. Okay? So we're going to go up to the next multiple of 100, which is, what, 500, right? Get another color here. And so how far did we go up from 76 to get to, to, get to 500? How far did we go up? 24. 24. So let's put a little 24 right there. All right, so we have 7 minus 5 is 2. Okay, so we have 215 plus 24, and our answer will be what? 239. We see that? We got that? All right, so let's do a couple more here. We have 821 minus 259. We're going to bring that 259 up to 300. Okay, how far do we have to go up to get to 300? 41. All right, so we go 300, so that's going to be 821 minus 300 will be 521. 521 plus, what was it? 41. 521 plus 41 will give us 5. That's not a 5. Here we go. 562. We see that? Now let's look at this question right here. 645 minus 372. So, of course, we're going to bring 372 up to 400, right? And how far do we have to go up to get to 400? 28. 28, right? So, 645 minus 400 is 245. 245, right, plus 28 will give us what? 273. Oh, 273. 273. Right, 273. So, now we got that, right? Now, let's move on to 1,246 minus 579. Again, we're going to bring that up to the nearest uh, 100. How far do we have to go up to get there? 21, right? And so, 12, well, 1,246 minus 600 is... What, 646 plus 21, and we get 667, right? 667, 667. Now, once you understand how to use complements and mentally uh, subtract, then no one should ever, 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 as a warrior scholar, be able to teach you out of your change. 
you should be able, as soon as you give your money for that dashiki, as soon as you give your money, right, for, for that Kanara, for Kwanzaa, as soon as you give your money for anything that, that is, is dealing with money, if you're buying anything, you should be able to say, okay, I already know what my change is going to be before you even give the money. As soon as they tell you how much you're going to pay, when, and when you understand what denomination of money you're going to give them, you should be able to say, you know what, my change is going to be such and such. All right, so let's look at this, right? Let's say you bought um, some some African fabric, right? One yard of African fabric, it was six dollars and twenty five cent, right? And you gave the 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 cashier, you gave her a ten dollar bill, right? What is going to be the change? It is the same way. We just learned with the subtraction. You're going to round this 625 up to the next multiple of, I guess, a dollar in this case, which will be what? Seven dollars. Right? So, how far did we go up from 25 to get to that dollar? We went up what? 75 cents. Okay? And so, now we subtract 10 minus 7, which is 3. Three dollars, Right? And we add the, the 75, and so that's $3.75. So you know that your dollar, your change should be $3.75. If they don't give you $3.75, you got a problem, right? So you got to make sure, and particularly with these little businesses in our community run by folks that don't look like us, a lot of times they try to cheat our children, but you as an African warrior scholar will never be cheated again because you understand this, right? So let's say you went to a store and you, 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 you bought a, a book, Amos Wilson's book, Falsification of African Consciousness, it costs $13.39 plus tax, right? And so you gave them a 20. What is going to be your change? Again, you're going to round it up to the nearest dollar, which is what, 14, right? Okay, make it a little bit easier on yourself. How far did we go up from 39 to get to the nearest dollar? How far did we go up? We went up 61 cent, right? We went up 61 cent. Okay, so 20 minus 14, of course, is $6. And then we add the $6 plus the 61 cent, and we easily get $6.61 as our change. We must remember this, all right? We must remember that. We should never be cheated out of our change as warrior scholars because, again, on the continent, on the African continent, we didn't have calculators in many in many instances, so we had to do it in our brains. We we had to know how much change we were supposed to get, right, by using our own mental capabilities. And we can do it, and we will do it. All right, so let's do a little bit of review before before we end this lesson. 51 minus 27. We should know this. We're going to bring that 27 up to, to 30, right? And so we subtract 51 minus 30 is 21, and we add those three, so... Now it's going to be 24, right? Now, 62, what complement will give you 100? 62 plus what will give you 100, right? So it should be 38, right? should give you 100, right? So let's do this one here, 763 minus 486, all right? We're going to go up to 500, and we have to go up how much? Four, 14 to get up to 500. So that's going to be 763 minus 500 is 263. Right. And we went up 14. So that's going to give us what well, we have two, seven, seven, two, seven, seven. There we go. Two, seven, seven. Right. Right. And this is the last one here. You went to the store and you bought a, a beautiful African dress for your mother. Your mother loves African fashion. You bought a beautiful African dress for your mother and it it came up to thirty one dollars and eighty four cent. You gave the people two twenties, which equals forty dollars. And you already knew what your change was going to be. So what is the change going to be? All right. So we know we have to go up to the next dollar, which is 32. So we know our change is going to begin with eight dollars, eight dollars. And what we had to go up how far from 84 to get to the next dollar? 16 cent. Right. So we have eight dollars and 16 cent. And that is our change. That is our change. Again, an African warrior scholar should never be cheated out of their money. Because they say, as African wisdom says, a fool and his money will soon part. And we definitely don't want to be cheated out of our, our money. We must keep our money in our community as well. Right? So, I will see you next time. And I will speak with you next time. I will teach you next time. I will, will, will educate you next time. Which is only means to bring out what is already within you. You already have this stuff in you. 
I'm just helping you remember. All right. So go on, practice your skills, do the activity, do the quiz so you can lock in your mental math abilities. And I'll see you next time. Revolutionary love.